Aren't there even uh, uh, plans to uh, bring Jetpack Compose to iOS or am I misinformed? Yeah, I honestly, I've read about this, but I don't know if you, I don't know anything official. I know that we, we have support for desktop. Uh, I know that I've heard at some point that we might have support for web, even though, uh, again, I'm not sure about it. So right now, I think that these are speculations. I haven't heard about anything official. It would be cool. Um, but I don't, I don't know how much, how much, uh, the iOS developers actually want that. Yeah, it's true. There will probably never be a time where we write native code on both platforms at the same time because <laughs> iOS and Android, they are just, they are I competitors. Mean, I mean, I mean, Florian, think it, think it of it this way. Would you write Swift UI, uh, for your UI layer and have KMP shared for the rest of the layers? Um, why not? You mean on Android or what? Yeah. Yeah. Mm, I don't... So ditch com so ditch compose and anything else. Yeah, if if um if how is it called? How is uh to UI this? Swift UI. Swift UI. If that's nice and easy to use, then why not? Yeah. But the the question is uh if the, the developers at iOS think the same. Because this is mm. something that we don't know. Uh so yeah, I, I, I mean, I think that the next logical step is having the UI written natively with Compose and Swift UI. I think that this is the future and having KMP hold the rest of the common logic because you'd have the same code base. You have developers that are proficient with Kotlin and, and that can design those APIs correctly, right? But again, uh, I, I don't know how much the iOS developers are willingly to, to learn Kotlin, right? But in your example, you were, we also don't have Jetpack View model anymore. Is that right? In your example, this is also yes, that's gone. So that's you, gone. So you have to write your own view model. Yes, that's gone. So uh, probably the the best idea is to have your own kind of um, view model that doesn't really is restricted to uh, the Android uh, system, right? So you don't want to have um, in the KMP layer, right? In the KMP module, if you will. Uh, you would have the presentation logics of the view model and the basis logics so, and the model layer, but all of those shouldn't have dependencies to Android as in the same way they shouldn't have dependencies uh, to iOS. So obviously we would need something. I think that I, I've, um, I've seen um, a sample that kind of tries to share everything together, but things are, 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 pretty, are pretty in alpha, if, if you like. And what data holder would you then use between the view model and the UI? Would this be Kotlin Flow? I've heard, I mean, what I've seen that is pushed right now uh, in, in those samples is that uh, Kotlin Flow is used. Yeah, mm. because again, Kotlin is part of Kotlin multi-platform is independent of Android mm. and iOS. So you can also use the Kotlin APIs. You won't use obviously things that are like live data or yeah, I, I don't know. I think that iOS doesn't have Rx Java. They have Rx Swift or something, if I'm not mistaken. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, it definitely seems interesting. Yeah. You would have to give up stuff like Room, but there are already a third party uh, libraries that do the same and that can be shared between iOS and Android. Yeah, if I'm not mistaken, I think Room does this. I, I mean, th there are solutions to this. And Im just imagine that you're going to work on projects that where you have to build a UI, right? And that's it, right? I mean, obviously, you can be part of the team that develops the presentation and the model layer, and you can have part of the of uh, other type of action. But you can have developers that only build a UI and, and that's it. Yeah, this seems like a, a future that makes sense. And yeah. it's basically already possible, right? It's not easy yet because it's not so streamlined, but you can already do this, right? Again, I've seen, I've seen some samples, but I haven't tested them for myself. Maybe I should try this out soon. I'm a bit afraid of the setup process because uh, I think it's not as easy yet. <laughs> it's still it's still very rough. I mean, I've seen people complaining on Twitter that they're spending days and days having trouble with uh, having the, the bill set up and everything. It's it's still very early. Uh, we don't know if this is going to be the future, obviously, uh, but uh, it seems to be a very uh, a very plausible uh, way. Yeah, because I have my little app on the Play Store already, and if I could also release this to iOS to the app store, then would be really nice, would be more users. So it's, it definitely seems interesting. Well, you'd have to rewrite it with Kotlin multi-platform, but right. 
yeah but it's it's still just just as as a single developer it's uh it's obviously it's something that seems more appealing because it's a bit less e less effort and hopefully things will mature and we will see this kind of approach because it sounds cool uh but time will time will tell yeah, and i guess for something like the view model there will be people who bring out new libraries that can be shared between ios yeah. and android that maybe make this job a bit easier Although write, writing a view model by yourself doesn't seem to be a very difficult. Yeah, if, if, if you come to think of it uh, in terms of very simple lifecycle tasks, yeah, it's maybe probably not that difficult, but you, there are probably edge cases mm -hmm. that uh, you're not really thinking right now about and that you might hit them. So, uh, yeah. Yeah, that's true. And for something like, no, retrofit, Retrofit is not Android specific, so you could use Retrofit in a KMP project, right? I guess. Uh, I, I, again, I don't want to say. I don't. I don't want to go into things that I don't really know. But I've seen. Um, I've seen some some uh, some samples uh, that were just like being shared on Twitter. Uh, 